Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a new wallet that I just received. Um, actually, I was contacted by a company called Plain Supplies and asked if I would be interested in checking out a new wallet that they were going to be launching on Kickstarter. Now, the Kickstarter campaign has actually already launched and it's got about a week left. Unfortunately, it took a little bit longer than expected for me to receive the wallet. So I wanted to put this video out uh, and kind of give you my first impressions and give you some information on their wallets. Now, as you guys can see here, there is a um, small little pouch that my wallet came in. This is actually more of a review unit. So the actual unit will come in a box, so it'll be a little bit nicer presentation. But obviously, because um, this is a more of a review unit, it came in uh, this little pouch here. So again, this is from a company called Plain Supply, and they have a couple different models of the wallets. The one that they sent to me is a kind of bifold standard wallet, and it's called the Eli or Ellie. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but um, if you go on the Kickstarter campaign, you'll be able to see all the different models. They have four different models available, and they come in four different colors as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one here. This is the one that kind of fit more of my style as far as the kind of wallets that I I use and stuff like that so um, here it is now this particular one is in this kind of burgundy color which is interesting uh, I really like this color specifically because the majority of the wallets that I either use or carry are either black or brown which are nice but I always kind of like to throw in a little bit of a different color in there so I'm glad that they went ahead and sent me this one here so as you guys can see from the outside of the wallet there is no branding whatsoever which is nice um, again you don't if you're not the type of person that really likes to advertise for other companies and things like that this is going to be right up your alley but it feels really really not nice. only does it feel nice it's very premium but it's also long lasting and obviously if you're going to be spending money on a wallet you want to make sure that it's going to last a long time especially because it's something that you use on a regular daily basis it goes in and out of your pocket or in and out of a purse or something like that or a backpack so you want to make sure that it's nice and good quality uh, these are also hand assembled and i can tell you the fit and finish is really nice on these even the stitching is actually kind of like a a different um, shade of red that goes around there and it looks really really nice and again it feels really nice in the hand really uh, nice and quality so again this is a bifold so as you open it up you have uh, a lot of different slots and pockets and things like that to hold all your belongings now one thing that I really liked about this particular model and this wallet itself is that it checked off a lot of things that I normally look for in my wallets or things that people always ask as far as like, oh, why doesn't it have this? Or where do I put this and, and whatnot? So I'll go ahead and get to those. First things first, you see the card slots right here. These are actually really nice because they're intentionally curved. So um, it's not a straight line all the way across. It's, it's got a little bit of a, of, a, of a curve to it. And it's actually a little bit wider than your regular cards. And that's perfect because it allows you to put the cards in and out very easily. Sometimes I find, uh, especially leather wallets, that the companies make the cutouts so precise that it's very difficult to get the cards in there and it takes a little bit of, of um, wearing in the wallet uh, to actually get them in and out pretty easily. Versus uh, on this one here, it um, you know just from the get-go, the, the, since it has that curve to it, they're really easy to get your cards and IDs and stuff like that in and out of there. Now on the opposite side of here, you see a little tab here and what that does is it allows you to pull that out and any other cards that you have in there they actually come out that's really cool because you don't have all your cards kind of exposed you just have that little tab right there the cards sit inside of the portion here and they're out of sight so that's pretty pretty much for cards that you're not going to use as often but you want to have quick access to so the four slots right here would be the cards or IDs that you use more often. Now you do have a little branding right on the inside there and it's a P and then a, a, a little line and an S. Again, that's for uh, Plain Supplies, which is the name of the company. And that's really nice. I think it's nice and subtle. They don't have it plastered all over the wallet or on the outside or anything like that. It's just really nice right there. And then in the back, you do have two cash um, uh, sections here. So this will actually fit the majority of uh, currency bills out there. So you don't have to worry about um, if you're going to be using this in a different country, you know, outside the U.S. or anything like that. You're going to be able to fit your bills right in there. And then these are nice and deep, so you can fit your bills very easily. And they are, um, they're not, uh, you know, sticking out or anything like that. Now, the wallet also has RFID blocking protection. So if that's a concern of you, 
um, this wallet will have you covered. Now, one thing that I do like that they included in this wallet is something that I always get in a lot of my wallet reviews is where do I put my coins? Or if I want to carry a spare house key or something like that, where do I put that? And what they've done is they actually included this kind of hidden slot back in the back right here with a flap on it. And then you can easily, it's, it's kind of like a little pocket, so you can easily drop coins in there. Uh, you can drop a key or an SD card or something like that and keep it right with you inside of the wallet. So you always have that with you and you don't have to worry about dropping the change in your pocket or anything like that. So I like the fact that they put a lot of thought process behind this wallet. Maybe listen to a lot of the things that people are always looking for in their wallets and kind of incorporate it into a lot of these. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and uh, cut the video and show you guys how I load this wallet with the majority of things that you would normally carry on a daily basis. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you how I would load my wallet here. So again, this wallet is designed to hold a lot of stuff inside of it. So it can hold up to 12 or more cards or IDs. Again, you'd have the four slash pocket tree on, here on the side and then the um, tab right here to access some of the other ones. So let's go ahead and start with the um, pockets here. Um, this is where I would put my four most used cards. These are just kind of some test cards. So basically, as you guys can see, the pockets are or the slashes are a little bit bigger so you don't have to worry about you know making sure that the wall that the card itself is um, is exact fit or anything like that as you guys can see there is a little bit of play so it makes it really easy to take your cards out and then slide them right back in there so again we'll load um, these four cards right in here so these are going to be my most used cards or IDs, you know, you can, um, you know, maybe have your driver's license and then like your ATM card or something like that, or a credit card that you use more often. So again, they're very easily accessible right there. You can go ahead and get to them whenever you need them. So you have this other pocket right on the side here. So this is going to be for um, either cards that you're not going to use as often, uh, or maybe some that you don't want very easily visible. So I have a couple of uh, test uh, cards right here. So basically all you have to do is just slide them right in there and again, they're um, out of the way But when you need them all you have to do is pull on this tab and they become available And then once you're done You can just push it back in and that pulls the tab right inside and you're good to go So the next thing I'm going to want to do is maybe load some change right in the slash pocket here in the hidden pocket So I just have a um, a couple of quarters here that I'm going to load right in there. And again, this is um, great for change or if you have like a spare house key or like I mentioned an SD, SD card or something like that, that goes right in there and it's easily out of the way. It's not very easy to see, so it's not going to be jingling around or anything like that, especially if you have some change right in there. And then um, last but not least is I'll go ahead and load some bills. I just have a, a couple of bills right here. So I'm going to put that right in there. And I like the fact that they included two of these pockets. That way you can have bills in one and maybe like receipts or something like that. Um, maybe what I would do is um, maybe throw a couple business cards in there. And, um, you know, I have those always with me. So as you guys can see, this keeps a nice and sleek form factor. Um, even with all of the, uh, the items that I have in there, I have change, I have bills, I have cards, I have IDs. Um, right now I have, what is it, the four and then I have three more. So, um, you know, I can even go all the way up to 12 or more cards and IDs and the wallet is still going to keep a nice and sleek form factor. It easily slides in a pocket, um, in a purse. Again, these are designed to be unisex, so it doesn't scream mas masculine or feminine or anything like that. And the sleek design in the front and the back without any type of logos or anything like that. Uh, it just the um, little branding right in the corner, right inside there, I think it makes it for a really nice package. All right, guys, so as you can see, the Eli wallet from Plain Supplies is a great addition to anybody's EDC, especially if you're looking for something that looks nice, that is a great quality, it's gonna hold up to a lot of wear and usage. Uh, it stores a lot of stuff inside. You have your cards, your bills, your coins, your keys, whatever it is that you wanna put in there. RFID blocking capabilities, uh, and I think it's gonna make for a, a great everyday carry wallet. 
Again, they do have a Kickstarter campaign that is going on right now. I will leave a link below to that campaign in case you guys are interested in getting in on it. They have four different models of wallets available, and those wallets are also available in four different shades or four different colors. So if you have a particular color that you like, black, brown, if you like the, uh, the kind of red burgundy color that I have here, that one's also available. And then they have another color available as well. Definitely go ahead and check out the link, check out the campaign, and go ahead and support them because I think they're doing a really good job, especially in adding the majority of features that most people are looking for in an everyday carry wallet. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.